guys, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest 11 All Dragon Quest Through. So in this episode, we're now going to get the... We have two achievements left in this game, and we're going to focus on getting the um, costume achievement. So what I'm going to do here is create my last costume, and then I'm going to go over all the materials and where you can find them in this game for every single costume. So let's go ahead and create this final costume piece for, I think it's Veronica. I'll start by sizzling and then I'm gonna rush through this really quick here. Okay, perfect, so we got that. So this is gonna be super easy. I'm gonna try and make this a little bit bigger since it's a bigger bar. And I'll try quarter slash here. All right, not bad. And then up here, get this a little bit more. And we're almost ready actually to finish the set. So I'm just gonna double bash a little bit. And then um, once I finish double whamming here, I'm going to use the master stroke. And I'll start by finishing this off. There we go. And I'll give this a little bash. Now let me appraise it. Uh, we still have a little bit of work to do. So let's go with a light bash here. And now I'll appraise it. Still not a plus three. So I'll light bash this one. And I'll appraise it. There we go. Plus three. When it says brilliantly, it means it's a plus three. Perfect. Now I should get the achievement here. Once I exit. Little sister fashionista, a warrior for assembling all of Veronica's most stylish th duds and the achievement should come next. Dedicated follower of fashion, awarded for finding all the most stylish duds for each character. So now we just have one more achievement left in this game and then we'll have all the achievements for Dragon Quest XI. But before we do that, I'm let's go over the guide here and then my next video is going to be creating powerful, the uh, most powerful weapons and then the best re-update. And then I'll see what to make after that. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys really quick here. So everything in pink means these are our costumes. So these are the only ones that I'm focused on for this for this guide is all the pink icons. Now, at this point in the game, if you guys have been following my guide, you guys will already have every recipe. And you also have every costume except for the ones that you haven't made it on the Fun Size Forge yet. Since you guys have every costume except for the Fun Size Forge one, we're just gonna focus on these uh, fun size forge materials. Okay, so we're first gonna teleport to the Emerald Coast campsite. Now, once you guys teleport here, rest at the campsite, and this is where we're gonna buy the first two materials that I'm gonna show you guys. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna buy cotton tops and buzzberries. You'll need uh, three cotton tops and three buzzberries to make um, all of the costumes in the game. All right, so next we want to teleport to Dundersill campsite. And okay, so I'm going to show you guys what you can buy at the Dungeon Silk campsite here for the materials that you're going to be needing for certain costumes. And that's the Lunaria, Cogulant, Silk Blossom, and Fine Fur. So you guys are also going to be needing the Trota and Bandana, which you get for free at the... I think it's DLC when you first get the game. It's free DLC, and there's also Trota and Togs right here. Which is also free, so make sure you get these two because you're gonna be needing them for to make the artisanal Trojan bandana and the artisanal Trojan tugs. And next, we're gonna teleport right to cobblestone. And you're first gonna need to have to rebuild the town so that we can talk to Dirk at the item shop. So let's head right down to the, to to the item shop here, and we'll talk to Dirk at the item shop so that we can buy pep hops, two hundred thousand each, and chrono crystals. This is where you get these two. Next, we want to teleport to Nautica and head right to the item shop in Nautica. Once you enter the item shop here, we're gonna buy Crimson Coral and Wave Weed. These are the two that we need for costumes as well. And then we're gonna teleport to Coster Valor campsite. And you're gonna rest at the campsite at Coster Valor and talk to the merchant to buy glass fritz. Right here, 250 gold each. You can also get Crimson Coral here as well. Now let's teleport to the Academy. And we're gonna enter the item shop, which is this over here, just jelly. Royal Root, Cherry Blossom Petals, Red red Eye, Blue Eye and Green Eye, Savvy Sapphires, Equable Emerald, Artful Amethyst, and Sparkly Sap. All right, so now let's teleport to Angela. Once at Angela, we're gonna enter the item shop here. 
And you're gonna buy lamb's wool. Okay, so here we are at the Autogunny Casino. We, we want to go where the treasure chest icon is. And you want to buy love potions, slime crowns, and fireballs. Okay, so the trial aisle has quite a few items that we can get. We, all right, so you want to talk to this guy here. Okay, so you're gonna want to buy gold nuggets, gold bar, Lucidia shards, spectralite, colorful cocoons, Technicolor dream cloth, serpent skin. And that's all you want to buy here for the for the costume materials. All right, so once you guys are at Prudo Valor Casino, talk to this lady here. And this is where you can get Yggdrasildi for one of the costume materials. Now we're going to teleport to the Snarefelt campsite. The rest of the campsite is Snarefelt. And talk to the merchant. You want to buy mirror stones, bright rocks, slipweed, even cloth. So this time we're entering the, the item shop in Altagonia where we're going to buy Finescence, because you're gonna need this for a costume material as well. So this is this is where you can buy Finescence for 680 gold each. Okay, so in Lana Lulu, I'll open up the map here. Just at the very beginning, the very first item shop that you run into, this is where you can buy pearls. So we're gonna buy two pearls for costume materials. So we're gonna buy the Hitch Pearl and the Pale Pearl. Okay guys, so at the item shop here in Havings Above, you're gonna talk to this item shop merchant and you're gonna buy mithril ore, platinum ore, and gold ore. Those are the three types of ores that you need for costume materials. Okay guys, so in the item shop in here in Putru Valor, you're gonna talk to her and we're gonna buy three items here for costumes. They are waveweed, fairy fluff, and maiden's favor. So I just teleported to Champ Savage South Campsite. This is, we're gonna buy two materials here that we need for costumes. And I'm gonna show you guys them. They are dragon hide and glimmer grass. Make sure you're at the south campsite of Champ Savage. Now I'm at the uh, Laguna de Gondolia campsite where I'm going to talk to this merchant so that we can buy more materials. And they are Narspicious, Flaxen Thread, Celestial Skine, Magic Beast Hide. Okay, so here I am at Galopolis South Campsite. So at the, at the Galopolis Southern Campsite, you want to talk to this merchant. And we want to buy butterfly wings here. Now this is all the items that we need that require purchasing. The next items we're going to have to get from monsters. So I'm just going to show you in the monster database how to acquire these items. So we're going to go, I'm going to go to the defeat a monster list and view all monsters. Okay guys, so this is the monster where you can steal wing of bat from. Make sure that you have Eric set up for thieving and steal wing of bat. And the location is the hexwood. This monster is located at Insula Incognita. And you can steal night sticks from this monster here. Malicious Brownie. Now this monster here, the Malicious Gratekeeper, this is where we get Sainted Soma from. And it only comes out during the rain, rainfall at Dundersill region. If you're having trouble finding this monster, I actually have a guide already made specifically just for this monster. It was a seed of skill stealing guide, but instead of, uh, I mean, it was a seed of skill guide, but instead of seed of skills, we're gonna be stealing Sainted Soma. And this is where you guys steal bell cups from these malicious mushroom mages located at cover caverns under Otagonia. And this is where we steal Kumu Lanambo from malicious fruity succubats located at the first forest. And you guys can steal diamonds from vicious bomb boulder at Sage's Trial Fierce Forest location. And this is where we can steal redwood from vicious flamethrower located at the Luminary's Trial Citadel Spite. You guys can steal grubby bandages from vicious bad here located at the Disciples Trial. The Cruel Crypt. You guys can steal Perma Snow from Dragon Slimes located at the Royal Library. You can steal Serpent Souls from Klepto Reptile at the Royal Library. I also have a guide on this guy if you guys need to know how to steal Serpent Souls from him or the exact location of where, of where he is. So you guys can check that guide out if you need to. It's a Serpent Soul stealing guide. <coughs> That's far more in depth than this. So this is where you steal Molten Globules from Knight Abhorrent. And you can find them either at Champ Savage Railway Station or the Battlegrounds. You guys can steal Saint's Ashes from White King at Caverns under Autogonia. Now this monster here is located at the sea, so you're gonna have to use your boat. And you actually need both items from this monster. So you, you wanna focus on stealing Uber Agate of Evolutions. And while you're doing that, you're gonna hope, you're gonna wanna put all your best rare find gear on and you're gonna hope that you also get a Aura Callum drop from him as this is the best way to get Oracallum. Since um, you don't have to wait for any respawns 
of the Sparky spots, you can just keep killing this guy until he until he drops Orocalum while also stealing Uber Gates of Evolution. Now I've already included this in my Serpent Soul guide, but for the sake of this costume guide, I'm gonna include it here because we we need Kale I do cloth and we need Crimsonite as two materials required for getting all the costumes. So what we're gonna do is head to Sniffleheim City and enter the palace. And you're gonna enter the uh, chamber here, north of the palace, when, once you're inside the castle. And we're gonna trade Serpent Souls to Crystal Linda. So if you guys never watched my trading Serpent Souls trading guide, I'm gonna show you guys right now. You have Crimsonite, Kale I Do Cloth, and Black Tear. We, we need Crimsonite and we need Kale I Do Cloths. So trade Serpent Souls for these two rare materials to get them. And that's all the items guys, so once you get all those items, you'll have all the costumes, you'll be able to make all the costumes at the Fun Size Forge. And you'll be able to get the all costumes achievement. So that leaves one more achievement left to get in this game. And that's the true ending. So I'll see you guys in the next episode, and thanks for watching.